So let's try a problem like this where we're trying to calculate the angle. So we're trying to calculate what angle this block's gonna slide down. So static friction is the only thing that's preventing this block from sliding down because you're gonna have a normal force which opposes the weight of your block on the ramp here. And you're also gonna have force of gravity. The only thing that's gonna prevent this block from sliding though is static friction. But once this force of gravity exceeds this static friction, that's when our block's gonna start sliding. So we need to figure out the exact moment that the force of gravity and static friction are equal to each other. Now we have the two mathematical relationships written down here so we can plug them into this equation. We also have the normal force right here. We're looking for our angle theta. That's what we're trying to find. So what I'm going to do is take mg and divide it by both sides. That'll get us to cancel, leaving us with this equation right here. I'm now going to divide by this cosine, which will get the cosines to cancel on the left side. And sine of theta over cosine theta is tangent theta. Now, if I take the inverse tangent of both sides, that'll get rid of the tangent on the right side, giving me that theta equals the inverse tangent of our coefficient of static friction. Notice we're independent of mass. Now, I'm going to take this static friction coefficient and plug it in right here. And that's going to give me approximately 11.3 degrees. So once we've exceeded 11.3 degrees, this block's going to start sliding down the ramp. 